Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and if you want more Halo content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it or agree or disagree, it doesn't really matter to me. It just helps the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Now if you know anything about me, I like to think that the best will happen when it comes to outcomes and I am disappointed literally every time. So I wanted to talk about one of the things that has me worried the most about Halo Infinite. I had a list of things, um, but I felt like this actually deserved its own video once I started writing the script out. And that issue is Halo Infinite being free to play and how they are going to deal with cheaters. Recently, it seems like every game on PC has been suffering at the hands of cheaters using a variety of cheats, including aimbots, wall hacks, unlimited ammo, and so on. Games from Valorant and Call of Duty and Destiny and more have all suffered massively with these issues. Now most of those games are free to play. Actually, I think all the ones I named are. And that just means that it's super easy for somebody to make a new account if they've been banned for cheating before. There's no cost entry or anything like that to create a barrier. It's a little bit harder to swallow that pill if you have to pay $60 every time you want to make a new account uh, to buy the game. Another issue that's been brought up is the fact that it will be crossplay, and if 343 doesn't successfully mitigate cheaters on the PC platform, they will probably leak into the console side of the matchmaking and end up ruining that experience as well. Now MCC does use easy anti-cheat and personally I have never came across somebody that was blatantly hacking in MCC, I have a lot of hours in that game and Nobody that was blatant about it. But I have seen clips here and there on Twitter of people flying around or having unlimited rockets or something like that. But that could just be because the population is so low and there's no real reason to cheat, I feel like. But knowing that this is a huge issue going forward, 3 for 3 came out with a blog post a couple months ago. And in that blog post, they talk about the anti-cheat measures that they're taking. A man with the title of security engineer was included in the blog post and said, we've done a lot of work securing the slip space engine and developing novel ways to protect and change the game to slow down cheat development. When people do cheat, we're focused on catching them through their behavior. Combating cheaters is an ever evolving arms race, but we're making the tech investments needed today to continue the fight for years to come. And this kind of brings up a question that I have in my mind about how in the Master Chief Collection, there's no real report function in the game. There's no block function in the game to help you make sure you don't match that hacker or cheater in the future. If you want to report someone, you have to go to the support page on Halo Waypoint to submit a ticket. And I feel like those extra steps really place hurdles in front of players for reporting cheaters in the game. Other games have introduced a kernel level anti-cheat program such as Valorant, and that has been met with, I guess, mixed response because I feel like people really don't like it but at the same time, if it works, you know? And that's something that the producer on Infinite, Jeff Guy, talks about. He says there's a ton of preventative problem solving, things like making sure our game plays nice with specific families of hardware, or fighting hard to ensure we don't add intrusive DRM to our game. Like I said, these have been pretty controversial. Games like Valorant, uh, I think Genshin Impact actually has it. And sometimes those developers have actually taken it away after the outrage from the community. Now, obviously, I don't have a solution to this. If I did, I'd, I wouldn't be making YouTube videos, that's for sure. And I don't think that there is a end-all, be-all solution fix for this regardless. Am I going to have to buy a Xbox just to enjoy the game? I think that that would suck. Do they create a cheaters pool where if you've been reported for cheating, you get shoved into that matchmaking and you just match other cheaters the whole time? Or will there be a reputation system where if you don't get reported for cheating and you know, you're not like getting in trouble, you are less likely to be placed in games with cheaters. Like I said, I don't think that there's a one-stop shop solution for it. I do hope with the backing of Microsoft and the amount of money that is being put into the infrastructure of Halo Infinite that this is almost a non-issue. I think at this point, the cheaters and hackers are just so rampant on PC anyways that it's it, it doesn't seem like there's a way to stop them. And while I think every game on PC has to deal with this at some point, I really do hope that Infinite doesn't suffer extremely hard from it.
But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you think that this is going to be a huge issue going forward. If you would like to see, you know, a paid version of Infinite, maybe you will have to pay for the ranked version of the game with the Battle Pass or something like that. I know a couple of games have been looking into that, like Apex Legends. But again, I just don't know. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.